Hello everyone and I'm disappointed. Normally I like to stay as far away from scandal, that sort of stuff, like political arguments, anything like that, any sort of friction. I normally try and avoid it with a 10 inch barge pole. But uh, when something happens right on your doorstep and you have a tiny, and I mean an absolute tiny, like amount of voice, I feel like you've got like a wee bit of responsibility. And so I just wanted to make a sort of public service announcement about a scandal that has happened in the Total War community, the modding community specifically. Because I feel it's something that we should all be as informed about as possible to... Because especially with something like the modern community, it's community driven. It's community members making content for the community. And... We, as the community, need to be as informed as possible on any misdoings, if there has been misdoings, so we know what to support. Because I know I would be rather infuriated if I found out something I'd been supporting turned out to be terrible morality wise so that is my reasoning for doing this um, I hope everyone keeps an open mind and chooses the outcome that suits them not chooses the outcome that suits them is kind of the wrong thing to say but um looks at the facts and then makes up their own minds like I've got my opinions you should have your own opinions and I don't want anyone basically telling you how to think because you should be able to think for yourselves and make up your own decisions on what you are comfortable with so with that sort of disclaimer out of the way let's get into the actual scandal itself yesterday a modder has spoken out this modder is called Pierce, uh, Pierce Buster if memory serves specifically and there will be a link in the description to his an, sort of announcement on, it was on Steam's, what do you call it, the Steam forums basically, I can't remember exactly what they call them but the forum area for people to talk about and it was in the Warhammer 2 one specifically. Um, he has spent months making a mod about sieges and yeah, just in his spare time, non-profit, ever all the good wholesome stuff, uh, making this mod to help improve sieges in Total War Warhammer 2. And then was then discovered when he was going to make a compatibility patch for one of the main really large uh, most popular sort of mods, complete overhaul mods, he was going to make a compatibility patch for that mod, the Steel Faith overhaul, to be precise. He downloaded the files for Steel Faith and all that to, to create this compatibility patch and he found some... he found stuff anyway. He had found that in their latest update, they had just blatantly copy-pasted large parts of his mod into their mod. No credits, no nothing, just completely copy-pasted stuff from his mod into their mod. And, well, mods are technically... I'm not 100% sure on the legality of all this, so... This is just from half guesswork, half estimation. But as far as I'm aware, mods, when you create them, you don't technically own anything. Like uh, a large portion of the ownership of mods is obviously with, like if you're using assets that the owner of the game made and that sort of stuff, there's, it's a, basically it's a gray area when it comes to ownership. So, in my mindset, they're technically stealing the two months of work he put into this game, into this mod. And no credits, no nothing. Normally, when um, stuff like this happens, the person that makes the larger mod will contact the person that makes the smaller mod and go like, Hey, 
is this good? Like, can I just incorporate? And from what I've seen, 90% of the time, the smaller mod person will be like, yeah, as long as you include me in the credits, say that you've included my mod into yours, I'm more than happy for that. The, my reason for making the mod is just to help people make enjoyment. So it'd be great if it'd be incorporated into a bigger mod. And that's how it normally works, and that's normally great. The problem here is they didn't ask. They just literally stole his labor in creating this mod and incorporated it into their own. Now, normally that is, as I said, it's a gray area that's not a huge scandal in and of itself. But where it gets really dicey here is this larger mod is unusual in the fact that it is a profit-based mod. It's not like most mods that are completely non-profit. They have a... They have a... Patreon! That's the word I was looking for. This is completely unscripted in case you just hadn't noticed. I'm just literally turning the camera on and giving like a quick update and sort of sharing my thoughts on it. They have a Patreon and at least one of them from my research is considering working on this mod his full time job is getting all his money from working on this mod. And so he is his work for this mod has basically just been stolen from someone else and he's making the money for it and it's oh it's Yeah. It is insane. If everything was above board, perfectly fair and honest the way this is, if someone's making money for on a mod and they incorporate other mods, in my opinion, like say 80% of the mod is originally like the Steel Faith overhaul, then say 20% of it is like mods they've included, with permission or without permission, whatever then I would suggest then that 20% of the profits from this then goes to the people that made the mods that are being included. I think that's the fair way to do it. I think that's the way it should be done. But not only are they not offering that, they're not offering the credit saying that, oh, this is this 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 part this update was actually this guy's work that worked on it for two months. Not only have they said that, they're also saying that no. Not <sighs> It just annoys me that much. It's like not only are they not given the credit and admitting that, they are I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, they're not even getting permission. They don't even have permission. That's oh And it's just just imagine, just simply this wouldn't have been a scandal at all if they had just went before they included it in and said hey is it okay if we include some of your work in our mod and as i said from the what i've seen in the modern community 99 percent of the time the other guy would just be like yeah no problem just put my name in the credits and they're like yeah fine and that'd have been it that would have been it they wouldn't have even been like wouldn't have even needed to get money involved wouldn't have even needed to get anything involved wouldn't have been a scandal how is that so hard? Um, from my research and looking on the forums as well, it sounds like this is not the first time this has happened with this particular mod, the Steel Faith overhaul one, as I said earlier. Um, sounds like this has happened before, and the modder that they stole before tried to speak up about it, and then just got completely destroyed by people verbally attacking him because they were fans of the Steel Faith overhaul mod and they didn't believe him and they were claiming he was out for personal gain, claiming stuff that, you know, I mean, you get where I'm going with this. And then apparently this guy then left the modern community for months on end and was too scared to return kind of thing because he had been verbally abused over the internet thanks to fans of the Steel Faith overhaul mods, which is just saddening again. Apparently this person wants to remain anonymous, but there has been proof seen them. I just encourage everyone to do their own research. Look into it. Look at 
both sides, look at the comments, just just be informed so you can know which of these you want to support and it's disappointing. That's all I can say. Um, a lot of the comments seem to be... There's been a lot of claims in the comment sections. As comment sections always are, there's lots of claims. Um, I've seen people claiming that they believe that the vast majority of Steel Faith overhaul is just stolen work. That a very, very tiny percentage of it is the original mod. Now remember what I'm saying here is claims in comment sections. So highly, highly unlikely that this is true. I've s so, yes, but these people are claiming that, I don't know, we'll say 80% of what's in Steel Overhaul is actually just stolen mods from the workshop. And that the very little percentage of it is actually their own genuine work and that sort of thing. Then I've seen replies to some of those comments from the actual team that works on the Steel, Steel Overhaul mod. And they were claiming like we did this, we did that, we did that, we did this. And they're claiming lots of stuff and claiming a lot of original work. And I imagine it's actually, to be honest, somewhere in the middle as it usually is with these types of things. I think they definitely have shown that they're willing to steal other people's work, not give credits and that sort of thing. They're definitely willing to profit off of other people's work. Um, it's just disheartening. Just wanted to make sure you were all informed of what was going down and what is going on. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I recommend looking up Pierce's mod. It sounds rather interesting anyway. I'm definitely not going to be getting myself Steel Overhaul, the Steel Overhaul mods. Um, I didn't have it before. I'm definitely not going to be getting it now. But I have actually looked into Pierce's mod and I'm thinking about running it in some of my games. Definitely an offline campaign, maybe an online campaign or two. What it is basically is it's a... Uh, it's called Better Sieges. I can't remember if that's his exact name. I'll try and leave a link in the description for this as well. But it lets you do lots of things, like it lets you use Invocation of the Heck on walls. So vampire counts are like, finally, we can heal our men that are defending the walls. It lets you put units on walls that would make sense to be on walls. Um, he spent two months working on this, as I said earlier, and testing it. I did see some of his comments where um, he was talking back and forth between the Steel Faith Overhaul mod, where they had put a unit on the walls that he had deliberately not because um, the AI was a lot better with it off the wall, so he felt that it should be off the wall, and it was better for everyone if it was off the wall, and he was explaining his rationale and that sort of thing, and I think that was the Skaven Mortar team, to be precise. But yeah, he adds a lot of stuff, like rattling gunners on walls. Um, he f admits that he can't get artillery on walls. He wishes he could, because stuff like cannons would greatly benefit from being on a wall. But yeah, he's just doing little tweaks and twerks like that just to try and improve Siege gameplay and it's a definitely a mod I'd like the sound of because rattling gunners on walls mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that alone mm -hmm. like uh, the warp block Giselle's rattling gunners on walls just like yeah so I would normally do my normal sign off which is I hope you've all enjoyed this but I think I'm going to change it what can I change it to Hope you've all been informed. There we go. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, see, bye.